So back here for part three of the uh, first game, we actually, the tiebreaker is just going to be a one ball roll off between each team. So here is Eric Holbein. And they'll keep going until they break the tie. Shots off. Looks good. Oh man, another 10th and he left that first ball in the 10th as well. High line's pretty tough to carry and unless you're right there in the pocket, sometimes it's hard to carry those corners. So Bevan strike trade, that'll be the win of the first game. Oh, the game. Oh, 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 that's eight, wow. So the first game will go to uh, Robbie Davidson's team. Roll off was eight pins to nine. So still best two of three, but if Robbie's team can take this game right here, they'll be champions. I believe Becky might have either one title or zero. I think Robbie has one for sure. Otherwise, two of them are adult bowlers. Oh wow, bad break right there. Four or five. I think the problem that a lot of bowlers are having right here is they're, they're afraid to move in any deeper because any sort of movement out to the right, the ball's not going to come back, but if you get too deep, the ball just, it's going to check up right away, so a lot of bowlers, I think, are stuck in one little area. Yeah. Oh, yeah! That can picks up the 4-5. She normally bowls the handicap division, but a great spare right there for her. because of the surface he may have been throwing, but it just really, really checks up right there. Let's see if Aaron can take advantage of that. even drier too so also a lot of the time with these bakers it's already hard enough only be able to bowl two frames in a game but going from lane to lane it's even tougher just it's a lot of the mental part of it where teamwork comes in and everything and letting each other know differences in the lane a lot of that can come in handy like for college bowling and also high school but it'd be interesting to see how much experience all these bowlers have with high school and college bowling as well because I know it's a big difference as far as bowling that mentally, not only physically, just having to wait that long in between turns. Oh wow, it's a break there. Let's see if Tyler can spare this for the 16 pin lead. And he covers it nicely.
Michael Paulson on the right lane. See so if you get the ball to sit. Oh man. Yeah, it really just looks like that right lane is higher. Have to adjust the difference. See if you can cover it up. Also, JVT is going to a new location uh, in a couple months here, I believe in March, going up to Park Bowl up in Bellingham. Pack Northwest, definitely large area because you have east of the mountains and then all the way south in Oregon. But if you can make it up to Park Bowl, that'd be awesome to see any new bowlers or current bowlers up there as well. by Evan right there through four frames uh, do the Shaboka has a uh, 14 pin lead both working off strikes Let's see if Becky can double up it's a good shot off her hand Ooh. Luke can take advantage of the double. Stickler up in the eight. What's the push? Ooh. Almost gets the book and carry with these six pins. So both teams punch out here. Do the Shaboka will shoot 15 and Team Davidson can shoot 13. So just another close game. Most the scoring in the semis were also close. Almost all the matches I accepted, I believe two, went all three games. 
barely covers spare, but he does. Little red face as he comes off the approach. One really needs to put on the pressure. Oh my gosh! So when he tries to put on the pressure on do the Shiboka, he actually leaves the 7-10. What a great shot. It's devastating. Wow. So as long as do the Shiboka can keep clean, it's pretty much going to be a tie ball game one to one. 